Hi, Happy Hoarder here, and the funniest thing happened. Um, I have a new refrigerator, or at least I'm beginning a new refrigerator. Right now, my refrigerator is a bunch of tubs and a basket, and it's all sitting on my front, out on my back deck because um, when we put the generator, my husband put the generator on, it browned out the uh, motor in the refrigerator and so we don't have a refrigerator so my husband was out looking for tubs to put our food in and he came in the house with this tub and he goes what do you mean to do with all these barbies and i went barbies what are you talking about barbies and he said yeah there's a whole bunch of barbies in this tub which i'm thinking what i have no idea what he's talking about so apparently i bought a tub and some Barbies and had the Barbies in the tub and I totally forgot about them. So they've been sitting out and un unplayed with for a very long time. So I thought this would be a really good time to show you these Barbies that I picked up and it was such a good deal. I know why I got all these Barbies. So it was pretty funny. Like now some of them were a little bit higher than normal, but they had clothes on. So I said, what, whatever I'll do it. Plus I just love this one's face. She has got the sweetest little face. I think she's kind of a, um, skipper type face but yeah so she's so cute and so she was dollar 55 but she does have a nice dress on and she's just a fashionista nothing nothing special just needs some love so i had to save her i to save that baby another one i definitely needed saving was this ken doll i mean he is pretty cute in the face and he didn't have a price i'm sorry i really don't know what they charged me for him i didn't really care but see his legs are so bad looking right now so yeah he needs some love. Need some cleaning. This one was just fifty-five cents, so I grabbed her. Now this one, oh, she just scuffed. Up. I thought her foot was chewed up. But it's just scuffed. Uh, she has the bathing suit. This is one of the dolls that you would get. Sorry, short face. She's one of the styles that you get at the dollar store type. You know, five dollar doll. She's not an expensive doll, but she has one of the uh, more unusual faces. So I like her little face. She is kind of a um. Teresa style doll and then I got a really good deal on this one I actually bought this one she is all broken up by the way look I don't know if you can see she's totally trashed but I bought her for her outfit we'll just go ahead and take it off she's just parts falling out everywhere so I did like the ballerina well purple ballerina outfit that I could always use now she was a dollar 75 and I don't I don't think they charged me for her. I don't I don't remember. I just bought a bunch of stuff. And I didn't care. But I did point out she was in pretty bad shape. And I think they just threw her in there. And I'm like, yeah. See, this is why they, 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 these kids play in the Barbies and they tear them up. So, so I'm trying to save the Barbies. But anyway, I like that little outfit. Um, this is a really beautiful Barbie. I think she is also probably one of the lower price ones. She's got some red on her nose. A little zoom in on there, Barbie. And her nose is uh, discolored. I don't know if that's going to come off or not. But uh, she, and she was just 55 cents, so I wasn't really worried. But usually the ones with the really straight arms are the cheap ones. This one is, I love my Millie's, and I got her. She was 75 cents, and I got her because she did have a cute little outfit on. I tend to get a lot, oh, sorry, Millie. I get a lot of Millie's, and I'm just looking at these dolls. I'm like, I got to fix her. The little flat feet, for some reason, I always have good luck selling the ones with the little flat feet. Not so much, you know. And well, I sell the beach feet as well, but it's just kind of funny. So she's pretty cute, and yeah, but she has a little dress, which is nice. Now this is another one that is. Well, this one was a whole doll. Now this is same store, by the way. Seventy five. $1.55. Now this one's flat foot and this one has heels. I don't get where they get the prices. Now this one has scuffs on her hand. Slightly chewed hand. Ah, both of them actually. I just noticed both of them are chewed. But I was just grabbing dolls. She's got a good head on her. It's really clean. So sometimes when I get dolls that have really good heads like this, I just swap the head with another body that maybe the head was messed up on. But then the other thing you get to are the matching colors of their skin because some of the skins change just a little bit. So I think I just grabbed her because I felt so good about getting so many for cheap. Because this is another one for 75 cents. And she's got, she's sort of a two-tone blonde. I don't know if you can see it. And she's another flat-footed one. But you can tell her hair's got two-toned in it. Maybe more in the back. Yeah, you can kind of tell there. that She's got the really pretty two-toned hair. Yeah. But this is the guy. And I don't, <laughs> I think this is. Um, I want to say this is, I can't think of the name of the group. Ah, New Kids on the Block, I think. That's what he looks like. And, and he's wearing somebody else's clothes. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. 
Just take his clothes off. Yeah, because I don't recognize this as Ken doll type thing. And he's got this ring on. I'll show you the ring. Oh, it's got marker on it. I do. I've got a lot of Ken like Prince uniforms. I sold a lot one time, and they did really well. Something about the little Prince uniforms are crazy. But yeah, so he's just really chunky and stuff compared to the older Kens. See, not even as tall. A uh, little bit shorter. Yeah, so I think he's the one of the new kids on the block. I have to check it. Check it out. He's got some marks on him. <laughs> the ring. Can you see the ring? Yeah. He's styling it. Be serious. All right, here's the head. Whoops. That poor ballerina. She's all coming apart. Oh, she's still got her thing. I'd have to get that out. So she really had a pretty face and really good hair. She's got some in her hair. But it's really, it's really stiff hair because it's got that glue in it. She does have a really pretty face. Kind of a, well, she's a ballerina, so I don't know. Reminds me of the, the holiday Barbies. Uh, this is just the cutest Kelly. That's her little clothes are coming off. I've seen this outfit before. Oh, Kelly, hang on, Kelly. Uh, what are the Kelly? She's not necessarily Kelly. I can't remember what this one's name is, right? Ah, this is the weirdest dress. I don't know what, I don't really know what's going on with this dress. Oh, I do. Uh, no, I don't know what's going on. Actually, I don't. I think I thought. I, I think it switches around. So she has two dresses. And I don't know who she is, but she's kind of scuffed up. But yeah, I got this girl. Uh, she didn't have a price on her, so I don't know what they had. I ended up paying for her dress. Has got some stains on it. I think. Oh yeah, as easily as it switched around. That's what it does. It's crazy. Oh wait a sec. We're gonna play some bobbies. Um, so this snaps in the back. I think this is a dress that was designed to, to turn. <laughs> Excuse me while I snap my doll's dress. There she is in that from that view. And then that's the back of her dress. But it feels like, you know, it's just wanting to switch around and make... Ooh, that is an interesting dress. Anyway, so there's her front. <laughs> She's kind of torn. She's not in great shape, so... Uh, she needs a little love. And then this is another one of these really beautiful, I, I, just, I call this Joyce. So she's really tall. Uh, I think I'm going to go put her with another Barbie. Mm, here's one on heels. Is she taller? No, nope, she's same size. Yeah, so she's pretty regular size. Yeah, she calls this face Joyce for some reason. Because she's got the really mm, brown, brown eyes versus the green brown that Teresa has. She's got two-toned hair. Pretty cool. And she was, she was 55 cents. And this one was, now this one was more expensive. And I think they may have sold her to me cheaper. She's been at Rolling Hills for a while and I just kept not getting her. Uh, and I was like, I don't know who she is. She's not Barbie. She's another brand that I'm not going to be able to read in her here. House Hasbro. Oh, it's got a year on it too. Mm, very small. But hey, yeah, this chick. I don't know she, shopping. I have not been to Rolling Hills or anywhere. And I didn't even set like that as a goal other than I needed to spend more time doing stuff around my house. Um... But it's the weather. The weather's been so bad. And that's how we, we lost power and all that good stuff happened. So, um, yeah. But I didn't want to show what I did do. I had a little bit of time. I organized my shelves. So I made them a little bit neater. Kind of, they were just piling up everywhere. So I spent some time doing this. So while I was uh, doing my decorating, I was listening to an audiobook, and it's called The Break, and I'm going to do a little bit of a book review on my new channel. So this is my plug for my new channel, which is called The Delete Key. I actually started The Delete Key many, many years ago when I first published my book, um, The Kitchen Dance, and it was a... a, a a blog where other writers could get together and I, we could promote each other. I could promote them. And in turn, a lot of them promoted me as well. So it kind, of, it kind of became something like that. And that's how it kicked off. And I just decided I wanted to, to take that title and, and my blog and kind of move it into a, the vlog world. So I created a channel for it. And on that channel, I'll be talking about books I'm reading or have read, movies and other writing tips and things like that because I do enjoy writing. And uh, so if you like writing or reading or watching movies or whatever, good story development, good character development, check me out on my other channel, the delete key, see the link below. And hey, have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.